start today's adventure at a brand new location, very historic here in Warm Springs, Georgia, Roosevelt's Little White House. Very excited for this one. And start out on this road, it's really cool guys. Check this out, Georgia Presidential Pathways Travel Region. That's cool, man. Also, it is very beautiful outside. The leaves are changing colors. As of right now, it's 46 degrees out here. Pretty chilly. And just for anybody that's watching this in the future, this is a no drone zone. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome if you're new here. Today we are here in Warm Springs, Georgia at FDR's Little White House. I've been wanting to come here for a very long time. And today, I finally get to get the chance. I am very excited to be here. Check out all the history. It's a lot of history here, guys. And I'm ready to check it out. And I'm going to bring you all along with me. Let's do this thing. And before we actually get started, we have a little history of FDR himself right here. It's pretty cool. And you have about the Little White House. He came here Warm Springs in 1924 in hopes of recovering from the effects of polio. That was pretty bad. And if you want to read more on this, go ahead and pause the video. But we're going to actually head inside. So actually right now I'm in the gift shop looking for a hoodie jacket because I was not prepared to come to Georgia. Um, I got pants, but I did not bring a jacket. I don't know why, but I'm going to get one right now. So this is actually the beginning of the store over here. Here's some hoodie jackets. Really cool. Roosevelt's Little White House, Warm Springs. Looks pretty nice. I think it's uh, $45. Got some more over here. You have a hat and a t-shirt combo. Souvenir penny press. Those are cool. Little windbreakers. Beanies 50% off. Has some other hoodie jackets over here. Those are really nice. I've already felt them already. Got some candy. Got some uh, coffee mugs. Bottles. A lot of books. It's really cool. Some goat milk lotion. I'm gonna keep looking around in here. Georgia State Parks and Historic Sites. That's pretty cool. Oh, look at this. It's a presidential limousine. That's really cool. Keep walking over here. We'll see what they have. Oh, check out this shirt. Roosevelt's Little White House, Warm Springs. That's really nice. And here's some more jackets over here. It's pretty cool. A lot more books over here and some more jackets over here it's me a hard choice and i'm actually wearing it right now so this is what i bought it was like only 48 dollars out of tax feels really comfy all right guys so i'm gonna do a little quick voiceover because um they have some stuff playing in the background and i know how i deal with copyright in this but here is a roadster they had in the museum um it wasn't officialized that FDR actually drove this but it was on a property at the time it's pretty cool well, especially for down here. Yeah, especially for down here. oh here we had actual wheelchair and braces FDR actually used that's so cool somewhere over here on the brace you can see his initials can't really see it that's pretty cool also that is his actual cigarette holder over on this wall, he had the presidential visits. Over here, you got John F. Kennedy, Jimmy Carter as a governor, and also Bill Clinton. And heading on down the hallway, have some pictures and portraits of FDR. That's a big old one right there. It's actually really cool. There he is right there. This picture is actually a camera record of an unprecedented third inauguration on January 20th, 1941. And over here, a little past that, they have this whole family tree of FDR. That's pretty cool. And walking on past that is the actual museum. This is pretty cool. Life in Georgia. All of these are actually real silverware set that he actually might have used. Maybe he is. And this is actually called the Polio Chronicle. Okay, so now this is pretty cool right here. There's actually him sitting in a chair. Just reading a little bit. The China on display is Royal Copenhagen of Denmark. The New York Governor Franklin D. Roosevelt used these pieces while he stayed in his first cottage in Warm Springs, known today as the McCarthy Cottage. That's pretty cool. So in that picture, he might have stayed in one of these chairs. And right beside that, check this out. This is called the Australian Table. It was a gift from the Commonwealth of Australia. That's pretty cool. 
So moving along from the table, I have all these little artifacts on this side and on the other side we'll get to. Um, these people, things that people actually gave FDR, like this clock right here and this little boat is actually the Mayflower. These were actually given to FDR by Winston Churchill. That's pretty cool, right? And here's the other side. A lot of artifacts over here. Pretty cool. And supposedly just some kind of stone from like South Africa. It's pretty cool. Now this next one is very cool. FDR's 1938 Ford. Check this out, guys. Really cool. Oh man. And supposedly this is the last car FDR had drove here in uh, Warm Springs. That's pretty cool. It says FDR 1, 1945. It was actually made for him in the Georgia Prison Factory. And here's the license plate, 1945 FDR 1, Georgia. It's really cool. And you actually see how he used to drive, like, because of his legs. Um, this is actually the clutch pedal right there. Pretty cool. All right, guys, there's definitely a lot of artifacts there, a lot of stuff to read, a bunch of history, but um, I'm gonna try not to spend too much time in the uh, museum. I'm gonna try to head outside, see the actual little White House. Really excited to see that. And we're gonna try to hurry because supposedly there's like a field trip of like 100 kids coming. Yeah, so let's go ahead and hurry up. And also here's another view of FDR's last car. That's pretty cool. And as we exit the museum, check this out. All gifts to FDR while he was here in Warm Springs. Different canes. And also check out this bust of FDR. It's actually begun in 1932 and was it presented in a little White House in 1962. That's really cool. All right guys, just got the Adam Museum. And it tell you what, it is still pretty chilly outside. I think it's still around mid forties. But anyways, we're here outside to say, check out the grounds. We're gonna check out the little White House. I'm really excited. And we're now here at the grounds map. Let's check it out really quick. So we were just over here for a while to give shop missions. We checked out the museum and here's where we are. They have this big old circle over here, restrooms. I don't know how to use a restroom. <laughs> um, you got the Wishing Well, uh, State Stones, a long walk. You would think it's called the walk along, <laughs> but we'll go along that. It's called a Mustang place. Um, let's see what's over here. Bump gates. I was told about that. We'll check it out. I'll get a story on that one. You have your guest cottage, servant's cottage, and the little white house. I'm really excited about this. Man, it's still a beautiful day. Ooh, check out that tree changing colors. Wow. We are now in the middle of that map I just showed you. Check this out. This is erected to the memory of our great president, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, by Mr. and Mrs. Lawrence Wood Robert Jr., 1959. So I guess at one time this was a fountain, maybe. It's pretty cool, though, but at least it's still nice. And we're now over by the bathrooms, and here is the wishing well. It has a cover on it. And this is the flags and stones of America. Check this out. It says state stones as a tribute to President Franklin D. Roosevelt. Each of the 50 states and the districts of Columbia contributed a specimen of a native stone for a memorial beautiful in color, finish, and design. There are many different varieties of stone. The collection was completed in 1959. That's pretty cool. So as we get started, it's really cool. So this is an example. This is Alaska. Really cool. So now I'm touching a piece of Alaska. How about that? And over here you got Alabama, Arizona. I think they're going off A's alphabetical order. Here's Arizona, Arkansas or Arkansas, wherever you want to say it. <laughs> you have uh, Colorado. Ooh, that's cool. We have over here California. Never been to California before. Now I have. <laughs> And of course, I'm going to document this one, the state of Florida. Now, this is cool. This is actually limestone, as it says. Really cool. <laughs> you can actually see the state of Florida in there. That's really cool, guys. And this one is Georgia. It's actually pink marble. Doesn't look pink, really, to y'all's eyes, probably, but it's pink marble. And this is actually Iowa uh, quartzite. That's cool. Here's another cool one from Michigan, a uh, Jasplite, if that's how you pronounce it. That's a really cool rock right there. Right here is Montana, it's Onyx. 
That's really cool, guys. The next one is Nevada is Wonderstone Tough. Hmm, very interesting. Looks like marble. And of course, I want to show this one. It's Texas Red Granites. Check that out, guys. That's super cool. All right, guys, I gotta say, that was actually pretty cool seeing all the flags, seeing the stones, and touching the stones from all the different 50 states. And here you are at the Franklin D. Roosevelt Museum. Unfortunately, this part is closed. It's actually called the Mustang House. We'll check this out over here. It's really cool. Like, you can really see the age on it. Man, that's really cool. Miss Georgia Mustang Wilkins. That's really cool. And on the side of the house, this museum was dedicated April 12th, 1961 by S. Ernest uh, Vandiver, governor of Georgia. And one more look at the front of the Mustang house. It's really cool. All right, guys, next up is gonna come up to the bump gate to the little white house, give a little story on it. And yes, I have my hood on. I mean, you can hear it on the uh, mic or not, but it's pretty windy outside and the wind is really cold. <laughs> so good thing I got this hoodie jacket. So coming up here is the bump gate. And we'll get that just in a second, but there is a Marine Corps sentry post. Pretty cool one there. And also there's another one right here. So here is the bump gate. So it looks like it actually used to swing, but it would be closed. FDR actually would go full speed in his car like this and boom, right through the gate and just spins. It's actually really cool. Um, supposedly FDR actually had a really comedic side to him. And as you can see, it does move just a little bit, but it is on a block. I gotta say guys, this is actually a pretty cool walk on this driveway. So to really think about it, it's really cool to think about. I know I say really cool a lot, but this is actually really cool. This is the actual driveway that FDR actually drove on when he was here in Warm Springs at the Little White House. It's really cool. All this is really frozen in time. So we're first gonna come up to the servant's quarters and all this is really kept up. So when you pay tickets coming from mission, like it's uh, $12 to come here, it all comes with all this. It's really cool. And this is the servants' quarters. And let's go on in and see what it's about. Coming on in, it says, caution, low ceiling. So from the outside, you wouldn't think this is off the ground, but it's off the ground. This is really cool, guys. It smells old. Oh, it <laughs> just hit my head. Ow. <laughs> but actually, it did say low ceiling. <laughs> so that's why I just walked up. Oh. Please do not sit on this historic sofa. Thanks for helping us preserve this artifact. That is really cool. And here's a look at the stairs coming up. And it's pretty tight, as they say. And this, this is really cool, guys. Really cool. You can still smell it like it was back in the day. That's so cool. This little door. I don't think we can go in. Maybe not. So cool. I still have a light on in here and really cool, man. So let's talk about the servants' quarters. These simple but tidy rooms were sleeping quarters for the household staff that were on duty 24 hours a day when the president was here. Man, that's really cool, man. And right beside it is another room. Like, really, guys, it's frozen time. And right over here is your commode. Imagine that, sitting right there, looking down. That'd be kind of cool. All right, guys, let's head on down. I'm going to bring you with me just in case I hit my head. Now, it's kind of hard to see, but very, very low ceiling. That was really cool from the outside. looks normal. And moving on along, here is a 48-star flag. That was really cool. Flown here April 12th, 1945. That's really cool. Coming up next is the guest house. I'm thinking this will be like the same as the um, servant's quarters. We'll see. I can already smell it. Hmm. Wow, that is really cool. Woo, man. Let's check this other room out. It's getting dark in here. Hmm, check that out, guys. 
So it was actually pretty cool. Um, we don't know exactly who actually stayed here. There's no official given names, but it does say um, people from the president's cabinet were here. And here we are at FDR's Little White House. Check that out. As I said earlier, this really is frozen time. And as well, here's the back of the servants' quarters and the guest house. It's also, again, just a beautiful day just to be out here and admire it. Now we can actually get some details on the front of the house. Very cool, man. Probably either this side or this side, FDR actually sat. How cool to think about it really is. And here's a plaque right here. Franklin Delano Roosevelt, President of the United States, died in this house April 12th, 1945. No soldier gave more than any battlefield and he who gave his life for his country, no greater martyr ever served this, the cause of freedom. Here's another look. Also, this tablet erected June 25th, 1947 by the presidential electors who in 1944 chose him President of the United States for his fourth term. To really think about it, this is about to be something very special for me and on the channel. We're about to see where a president actually passed away. That is very historic. All right, guys. So heading on in the little White House. And it says, no scooters allowed in this walkway. And of course, down there, you have another Marine Corps sentry post. They probably have more spread out to their property, of course. This is really cool, guys. Some trash over here. These shelves were used for vegetables and supplies. Really cool. I don't know if this is like a refrigerator or something. Huh, interesting. And here we go, guys. That's so cool. Oh, the smell in here. Wow. This is insane. And right by the door, it has it. Ice water was kept here for Secret Service agents. And this is the kitchen where Daisy Bonner prepared FDR's meals. Oh, that's so cool. It's a lot of stuff in this pantry. Also around the pantry, check this out, Daisy Bonner reads, Daisy Bonner cooked the first meal and the last one in this cottage for President Roosevelt. And here is the front. Check this out. I guess we'll walk through it a little bit. This is cool, guys. There's this chair over there. So here is the original dining room and living room. Check this out. Everything in here is original. And you can also see his love for the sea. He has a lot, a lot of battle art and stuff, boats. That's really cool. And everything is original, as I said. All right, we are now outside. Check out this balcony. Oh man. See, there's another uh, Marine Corps sentry post, like I talked about. Probably all around here. All right, guys, that was pretty cool. But next up is the president's bedroom. This is where he actually passed away. So, this is very historic. And here we go. That's a heavy door. Oh, wow. The president's desk right here. Presented him by the CWA workers of Fitchburg, Massachusetts, January 30th, 1934. Wow. I'm guessing he actually sat in this chair too. That is really, really cool. Man, it's the yard's bedroom. On April 12th, 1945, the president was carried to this bedroom by his staff after he collapsed at 3.35 p.m. after tremendous medical efforts, the president, uh, nation's 32nd president, FDR, was pronounced dead. And also on April 13th, 1945, his body was taken to Washington, D.C. for a state funeral. And from there, his he was taken to his family home at the Hyde Park, New York, where he was buried in the Rose Garden. This is a very uh, weird feeling, definitely, knowing the 32nd president died right here. Um, it's not no paranormal thing or anything, but this like the ambiance is, it's weird. And coming on next is the bathroom. That's cool. Everything is original as well as the toilet paper 
it does look like sandpaper, but it is toilet paper that FDR wipes his butt with. And you also have a sink over here. It's pretty cool. Check out that light. And here is Eleanor's bedroom. I don't know why there's two beds, but it's still nicely, everything is preserved. And come on to the last room. And here's this chair over here. Check that out. It's really cool. And you can hear the floor too. We're next gonna check out FDR's Legacy Unfinished Portrait. And here is the unfinished portrait of FDR. Check that out, guys. That's very moving right there. It was left unfinished 2 p.m. April 12, 1945, when Roosevelt collapsed while posing for this portrait when he died at 3.35 p.m. And here he was, one day before, April 11th. And here's the real newspaper, Warm Springs Mirror. Look at that, guys. And here is the 48-star flag that flew over the Little White House, April 12th, 1945. Wow. And actually, this is the naval cape that FDR posed for the unfinished portrait. Not the mannequin, but the actual coat cape thing. How about that, guys? All right, guys, that will conclude it here at FDR's Little White House here in Warren Springs, Georgia. This was definitely something to remember and check out. If you love history, you love America, and this, everything evolves around that kind of stuff, this is something definitely to check out. Um, I definitely had a lot of fun here just seeing everything frozen in time just as it was when FDR passed away. It was really something to look at, especially when you see FDR's bedroom. Just think about it. That's where he passed away. That was definitely something pretty cool. I don't think I've ever seen something like that, but now I have. It was really cool. So if you like what you watched here today, make sure you give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe to you for more future content. I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys.